Hey guys, back to another YouTube video. Today it's going to be another video I've been wanting to do, and that's comparing a fake 119 to a real 119. Now, the purpose of this video is to show people the differences, so that way if they accidentally mistake this for being the real version and pay the full price, they'll know the differences. So, I've talked about this before in a previous video. This is a Gordon Bowie knife, or a knockoff of a Buck 119. And I've talked about this before in a previous video, but showing the differences is the reason why. Because I've seen people try to pass off fake buck knives as the real thing. That happens on eBay all the time. And I'm going to show you the differences so that way you know what to look for. So the first difference is actually in the knives themselves. So as you can see, side by side, they look very similar from a distance. But up close, you can see a lot of the differences. For instance, the blade grinds are a lot different. As you can see, this one's got more of a fatter blade. This one's got more of a thinner blade. And the blood grooves are a little bit different. And of course, this one's got a different blade grind. This one's got more of a groove right here. The real ones don't. And of course, this one says China on the back of it. This one says USA. Another difference is, of course, the leather spacers in between the handles. It's another difference. And then, of course, the pommels look different. This one's got more of a boot shape. This one's got more of a rounded off shape. And the thickness of the handle eh, is right about the same. But you still don't see that high polished look that you normally see on a buck knife. And blade thickness. Eh, let's see. Blade thickness is right about the same. But another thing you'll notice is, of course, the grind lines on this are do not match the original. So mainly this is to show you the differences between a fake one and a real one. Because all it would take is some crooked eBay seller, and all they could do is take an actual buck sheath and take a fake buck knife and put it in. And sell it that way and say, here, buck 119, uh, 20 bucks, here you go. And then when you get it and open it, you'll realize, wait a minute, this doesn't say buck on this, it says China on it. Then you would have just lost all your money. So that's the main difference in the knives. The blade, the blade length's right about the same, and the handle length is right about the same. And the guard thickness, yeah, this one's got more of a bigger guard than this one does. Because then again, this is a knockoff, this is the real deal. So again, it goes to show. Uh, I guess another thing I'll compare is the sheets, of course. Now, of course, the actual sheets say buck on them. And they have the buck buttons on them. The fakes don't. And on top of that, I know it's hard to sh show in the camera, but if you have these in your hand side by side, you can feel the difference. This feels more like pleather to me. This is actual real leather. And this is just so flimsy, it's not even funny. I could probably tear this with my bare hands if I wanted to. Real leather, you really can't do that unless you're a strong sucker. Another thing is how they snap together. Snap this one, and then snap this one. If you notice, on the real buck sheath, the snap is right here on the side. On the fake one, it's right here on the front. Most of the buck sheaths were never like that. They were always either on the side or slightly the, slightly the other side. They were never like that. Another thing you will notice is how the pin is stamped. And how the leather is formed, which is hard to show because this stuff's already been done. As you can see on a real buck sheath, this one has a little bit of a shorter piece of leather than a longer piece that goes over the handle, just like that. And on the fake ones, it has about the same length piece of pleather on each side. Again, another indication this ain't a real one. And, of course, the black tone that it's got on the buttons. Again, not like the original. On top of that, the belt loop is so flimsy, it's not even funny. On a real buck sheath, you can't move that very easily. You can't move that very easily because it's got two different pins. One, in, one, on the, one on the actual sheath and one on the belt loop. This one's got mainly two ones. One that has, hits the actual piece right here and the one that hits the actual belt loop. So... And it's really weird how they copied the actual sheath design pretty damn well. But my point is that this is a fake sheath. This is a real sheath. 
And I know it's hard to show on the camera, but like I said, if you had these in your hand, you could feel the differences in the quality. And one of the things that really pissed me off is that when you get a buck knife most of the time, it will come with a plastic insert that your knife sits in. On the knockoffs, <laughs> they actually made their own version of that copy. But when you compare the plastic pieces side by side, they're a little bit different. It's got a different cast of plastic, and this one's more shinier than this one is. Again, it goes to show how much China will go just to copy a very well-known design. So anyway, this is mainly to show you the differences so that way you accidentally don't get scammed because all it would take is somebody who doesn't know their knives very well. Because I understand not everybody knows their knives very well like I do or my buddies do. And it would be probably very easy to take an actual buck sheath and put a fake buck 119 in it. And if someone sees that for, let's say, a crooked seller was to sell it for about 10 bucks. You would instantly grab it and say, hey, it's a buck knife. I know they're pretty pretty good quality, and for 10 bucks, I'll take it. But once you actually get it and realize, and you open it, you'll start to realize, wait a minute, this don't look like a regular 119. And then you would have just lost your money. And it's not just on eBay that could happen. That could happen to anybody in person. You could go to a flea market, and again, have an, it'll have a buck sheath. And you'll think, oh, it's a buck knife. So you instantly buy it without looking at it. Then when you get home and actually look at it, you'll realize that it's not a buck knife. So that's mainly my point of this video, to show you the differences. So that way you don't accidentally get scammed. Because China is well known at copying stuff. There ain't no secret there. That's another reason I despise China so much, is because they copy well-known designs like this. Now, if you want a knife like this just to beat the crap out of, by all means, go buy it. But I don't think it's worth the money because where I am, this was about $35. And to me, that's not worth it. If it was like $20 or maybe $10, I would probably buy a couple of them just to beat the crap out of. But other than that, I wouldn't do that. So another thing I'll show you is about the tips of the sheets right here. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap right here on the real sheath. And then on the other ones, they tried to sew it all the way. So, like I said, don't get scammed and always take a closer look at something that's someone being sold, especially by a well-known brand such as Buck. Because I remember a video a while back that a guy bought, found a supposed Buck knife, and it was in an original Buck sheath, but when he opened it and realized it said Pakistan on the blade, that's when he began to realize that it was not a real Buck knife. So... Purpose of this video is, like I said, don't get scammed. Always take a closer look at what you're buying. And that's mainly the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've learned some information. And as always, stay sharp and keep collecting.